What's up, family? 17-year-old Julia Zawangwa was killed when she took a pill laced with fentanyl. Gwinnett County police arrested Droven Calix Rodriguez and Elizabeth Elliott for selling her the counterfeit pill. Lock them up. Lock them up. Lock them up. That's right. They got to go. And all the other uncivilized mutts out here lacing drugs with fentanyl to get some money. Killing people just so they can get some money. And we talking about on top of everything, fam, chump change. Not that you can put a price on life. People are lacing drugs with fentanyl because it's cheap and they can get more profits. Fentanyl is 100 times more potent than morphine. Fam, what does that tell you? In some cases, you ain't even got to touch fentanyl. You don't even have to come in contact with it by touching. You can smell it. It can get in your skin. It's that potent and it can kill you. So many people out here, fam, are dying. And some of y'all out there are taking these drugs, like, and you're thinking that everything is cool. You don't know what's in that stuff. Even weed, you're not even safe just smoking weed, doing some mushrooms. You're not safe. These uncivilized mutts would do anything for a few bucks. 17 years old, fam. She thought it was a Percocet. This is what's being reported. Turns out, that the pill was laced with fentanyl. I don't know how many more people got to die, fam. If I, I wouldn't trust anybody. I'm not a weed smoker. I don't do pills or none of that stuff. But if I did, I just would put everything on pause till they figure it out. Or I got to grow my own stuff so I can know what's in it. I wouldn't trust anybody to bring me anything because... What do you think will happen, fam? What's happening right now is a lot of people are just trusting the people that they know. And they are at a party or whatever. They roll up by their house or whatever, and they give them something. And they automatically trust it because, you know, this person going to make sure I'm straight. They ain't going to give me something that's going to kill me. Now they're going to give you something that's going to kill you, and they are going to dip. They're going to get all the way out of the way and be like, hey, man, wasn't me. Wasn't me. I wouldn't be doing anything right now. You know how people go on a hunger strike? Man, I'd be on a drug strike, a pill strike, a weed strike, a coke strike. Whatever it is that I was into, I'd be on a strike. See, this is one of the reasons why I, to, I, don't, I never touch the stuff because you don't know what's in that stuff. And you don't know, even if it wasn't laced with additional stuff like fentanyl, you don't know how potent it is. You don't know how potent the, the ingredients that are in there are. And you don't know what kind of effect it's going to have on you because everybody has a different tolerance level. Same thing that a, one person may use every day. And it seems like that person is a functioning addict. Don't bother them. So you thinking, well, what's one hit going to hurt me? The next thing you know, boom, boom. Bust your whole heart wide open. Y'all be careful out there, fam. Be very, very careful out there.
Say it with me, fam. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?